is soul not for sale this is episode 430 430 we're getting up there we're almost at the 500s now i have two clips for you one is of ice cube both are of ice cube talking about his views on robert f kennedy jr and one is from joe rogan's podcast that he did with him recently and the other is with a podcast that ice cube did recently with bill maher so very interesting. Ice Cube's a little looser on the Bill Maher podcast. He's drinking, he's smoking a blunt. They're kind of relaxed. It's like a different atmosphere. He's a little less, uh, he's a little uptight. He seemed a little tense with Rogan. Maybe he's just nervous because Rogan is a massive outlet. I have no idea. But i um, bringing you those two clips right now. Let's get into it. Before I do, I have to bring you to the store. Now, here's something you got to know about the store. You got to click on categories. You got to click on America's Soul Not For Sale. And then you got to check out what we got in terms of the Soul Not For Sale collection. America, the American flag version. We got t-shirts. We got hoodies. We got tank tops for men and women. And we even have t-shirts for men and women, I should say. Just, just so you know, uh, let's let's check out a, a, a women's a woman's T-shirt here. Bang! What's it called? Deep V-neck. Got that for the ladies. And that website is IamCoachColin.com. And if you want a ten percent discount, you put in I am Coach Colin. all one word. All capital letters, one L on the call-in, gets you 10% off. And that is the newest collection that we got. Very proud of that. Oh, man. And it's to celebrate, you know. Pride Month is over. Okay, it's done. Pack it away. Pack away those rainbow flags and everything. Now it's time for the pride of your country. That's what it is. Canada had their day on July 1st. July 4th is just around the corner. And you don't just stop there when it comes to this month. You celebrate the whole month. Celebrate your country. There's some people in office doing some things that you most likely don't agree with. And you know what? That's no reason to let your patri your 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 patriotism diminish. Okay? So if you've bought anything from the store, thank you so much. You're so appreciated. You have no idea. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now let's get into these clips. Ice Cube talking about Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Let's go. Yeah. Stay tuned. Yeah, who knows? I mean, maybe we'll bounce back. You know? Get a good president in there, you know? Turn it around. Yeah. <laughs> you don't think I, don't, so. I don't put a lot on the president. <laughs> Not this I don't one. put a lot on the president, well, for sure. I wonder what would happen if Robert Kennedy Jr. got in there. Very interested to see what happens with that guy. Yeah. You know, he's a, uh, you know, he's he seemed like a guy who at least is down to deep dive. Yeah. And talk real and, and you know, really try to dissect what's really going on instead of just going with the herd, um, which would be easy for him to do, like go yeah. with the herd. You know, he may be, you know, even ahead more, in the, um, or he may even be doing better, you know, when, when they poll, I think he's like 20% of people or something. But yeah, he'd probably be doing better. Probably be doing better, and, you know, instead of, you know, maybe he'd be one of they one of their guys. And so by him going this route, it uh, seems like he's on a more noble route, and we just check him out and see how he navigate some of this stuff well, he's definitely on a more noble route and it's definitely not something he planned to do initially i mean he was an environmental attorney yeah. he was a guy that cleaned up the hudson river they would go after these corporations that were dumping toxic waste and and that was his thing it was like mm -hmm. mercury in the water and, and and you know trying to hold the corporations accountable that's i didn't actually know that about uh robert f kennedy but back to ice cube this is a guy who later in this podcast when he's talking about all politicians, he calls them begging ass politicians, powerless puppets. And I just find it interesting that when he talks about Robert F. Kennedy Jr., it's a completely different tone. You know, seems like he's willing to deep dive. He talks real. He's on a more noble path. I really, really like that because that means Ice Cube is actually looking at the man and not just he's looking at the man, not just in Robert F. Kennedy, but also 
looking at the character of every other politician because he's right when it comes to almost every other politician i'd say trump not so much he doesn't really have to beg for money at the end of the day he could finance his whole campaign himself if he wanted to it only takes 500 million dollars but for the most part he's right so the fact that he's actually looking into robert f kennedy jr says a lot robert f kennedy man like a lot of people have on left right black white they have some great things to say about him it's really really interesting to see because you never see that it's usually and and what you never see is people from like let's just say you know in in rfk's case people from the democrats people on the left saying no to this guy pushing this guy away they don't usually do that it's usually the more the merrier we're all on the left here so it's kind of telling on both sides. It's very telling that people on either side like him, and it's extremely telling that people on the left do not like him. It kind of makes me want to root for him more, and ob obviously more than Biden. Like, come on, that goes without saying, really. Now let's uh, flip over here. Boom. We got this clip now of Ice Cube talking about Robert F. Kennedy Jr. again, and Bill Maher even chimes in, which is surprising again, because Bill Maher is somebody who likes to be a contrarian and you know the consensus i i guess i guess kind of is being contrarian if you're gonna support robert f kennedy jr but it's surprising what he has to say as well let's get into it it has to completely line up behind it and yeah. like robert kennedy has talked about in the new york times like this this vaccine hysteric he's not a hysteric no. he's a really smart guy yeah. who knows a lot of science and <clears throat> you should talk to him i don't agree with everything he says either and I think sometimes he's gone a little too far and put a little. Who, who's go, who are you going to agree with 100%? Exactly. Nobody. That's what I said. <laughs> you know, to him. Nobody. nobody. You know, you, you got to feel Life like. Life would be pretty dull if you did. Yep. And we would, you know, we wouldn't, we wouldn't love the world that we was in if you had to. So, you know, at the end of the day, um, he seems like a good dude who's trying to do the right thing. And you know, he sometimes is. you gotta he is. you gotta look through all the bullshit and and try to see the, the person. No, I just inside. I just he's got a candidacy that started out at twenty percent, just right off the bat. Okay, some of that, of course, is the Kennedy name, but but it's that's not all that. It's people want this other voice in the debate, and I find it just so depressing that a lot of the media organs get away with a joint decision to let's just strangle this baby in the crib. Yep. Let's just say right from the beginning, as much as we can, as often as we can, from as many of our writers as we can, he is some sort of kook, he's a crank, he's a nut, he's got misinformation, as if science is just about what you know for sure. Sometimes it is, some things yeah. are settled science, but things like this are not. And so let's just label him a kook that we kill in the crib. It just yuck, makes me fucking hate those kind of people. Yeah, man, because, you know, let them debate. Let them debate. Let them debate. Let them get up there with an expert right. in the pharmaceutical fields and let them have at it. I'm pretty sure he'd welcome it. He definitely would welcome it. Um, Definitely would welcome it and definitely has welcomed it. Peter Hotez is still running scared, not willing to take on that whole debate that was offered by Joe Rogan. And uh, it's not surprising. You know, the left has a way of, uh, you know, branding people as problematic and making them so problematic that you can't sit down with them. It would be an evil decision for you to sit down and actually talk to them and try to find common ground. It's it's a uh, it's very annoying. It's very annoying to see because I think uh, I think Robert F. Kennedy would take a lot of people to task in any kind of debate, I think. Um, but there you go. Ice Cube, man. He really is. Uh, he really likes Robert F. Kennedy Jr. You know, he's saying let him debate. He says he seems like a really good guy. So really interesting to see that, man. Again, people, black, white, left, right. They like I'm mean, even Trump had favorable not super favorable, but even Trump hasn't given him a nickname, you know, uh, hasn't hasn't branded him as anything, hasn't called him out on anything. Trump just said he seems like a, a good common sense guy. That's that's what Trump had to say. And in Trump's world, especially 
Trump going against this guy, that's very nice of Trump to say. Because everybody else that he goes after, he gives them a nickname, he he calls them out on issues. He has nothing to say about them. Like, uh, I don't know. Very presidential. Very presidential the way everybody accepts him. But we'll see what happens. I'm I'm hoping, best case scenario, it's just him versus Trump. And I think either way, the people win in that scenario. I think Trump will do, I feel like Trump will do more radical things for the people and it will benefit the economy. I think Robert F. Kennedy will do wildly radical things to the establishment. I think, I really do think he will, he will march on with what JFK had in mind by disbanding the CIA. I think, I think he really will take those steps to make those organizations more less control and like like JFK said splinter them into a thousand pieces and throw them into the wind. I really do think that he'll he'll execute on that just because he really does believe that they had something to do with his his father and his uncle's death. I mean, that's you know, I think I think he has a vendetta there. It'd be interesting to see either of them. And like a lot of people have said in the comments, you know, Trump president, RFK vice president, that would be golden as well i'd be really happy to see that you know rfk has made it very clear that he will not support biden if he if he doesn't um if he doesn't win um but he has not said that about trump actually somebody said that he said like very early on that he would never like work with trump or anything but at the same time he has worked with trump so i, I think that's a little up in the air i think if trump went to him given that their families actually have history together i, th I think he would work with him and i think he'd accept vice president i think he would anyway like the video guys hit that like button it helps so much it boosts us out of the shadow realm we got a claw out of the shadow realm you know it's uh it's a little difficult but you know it is what it is you know conversations like this have to be had you know i'm surprised none of my rfk stuff has gotten taken down i try to keep it within the walls of things but still bring it to you guys but there you go, Ice Cube talking about um, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. And Ice Cube said that this is going to be a whole podcast tour that he's doing. So you can consider me like one of those guys that like follows a band everywhere they go. So every podcast that Ice Cube does, I'm going to be there. I'm going to I'm going to go through it all. I'm going to dissect it. I'm going to find the best parts of it and I'm going to bring it to you guys. All right. Other than that, I am out.